How y'all doing? Hold on, hold on. It's still Thursday, baby. It's still Thursday. You're getting two for on a Thursday. How about that shit? Anyway, sun's still shining. Have a great day, all that stuff. What? Wait a minute. Back up the bus. I forgot to mention in my previous video there, one of the stories that really pissed me off today. And then when I went down there to look at it, I went, oh, shit. Hey, guess what? You know, I've been saying for a long time that uh, Republicans, the Republican Party as a whole nowadays, it seems to me, will do anything they can to put this country more of in a bind, to hurt it, to make it uh, suffer a little economically uh, or, or, or socially, whatever it takes to go ahead and kick America in the knees so they can point at it and say, oh, look how terrible things are. You should vote for us. That's the Republican line nowadays. And today's story today, talking about how Trump is trying to influence the Republican Senate not to not to do anything on the border. Don't do anything on the border down there because don't let someone fix this. Wait until I get in there so I can fix it. That's Donnie's toe line right now. Don't do anything. Wait until I get in office. I'll solve everything. I'll be the Lord and Savior and fix all the walk on the water and all that. It's bullshit. Are you shitting me? And, and you know, the Republicans tie this, the, our border down here, to aid for Ukraine and other issues around the world. So, yeah, I'm getting about tired of this bullshit, this fake-ass patriotism that the Republican Party wants to throw out there for entertainment because they're anything but. Yes, they would let this country suffer. Can they fix it? Yes, they could. We haven't had uh, comprehensive immigration reform in over 30 years since the 80s. Are you shitting me? Come on, we ain't got nobody up there in our government that can solve this problem. Not if... Not if it benefits them to keep the problem alive. And that's what it seems to me they do to a whole lot of things. They want the issue to argue about. They want to be able to pound on the table and point their fingers. Solve it? No, they're not interested in solving shit. They just want that. But this bullshit with our, our border down here. Hell, I live not far from the border. Uh, seems everything's fine here. Uh, we could be doing just fine. <laughs> But it's the screaming and holler and the pointing at it. Uh, what's his name? Speaker Johnson just went down to the border the other day and said it's just very complicated. We can't fix it because it's very complicated. Really? Complicated. How about you just do something and then they quit lying to the American people about it? Like I said, they're holding up uh, the border issue that is holding up a lot of other issues and they keep using it in their little, uh, little talking parties out there and bullshit. It, it, this is really making America suffer at the hands of the Republicans so they can point at it and say, elect Donald Trump and he'll fix it. Not on your dying days, baby. I wouldn't let that disgusting man back in my house for anything. And I think any Republican nowadays that supports his ass is nothing but an ass kisser trying to suck up and get some kind of I don't know, office in the Trump administration or some shit. Well, I got news for you, baby. There's not going to be another Trump administration unless you're talking about the prison office up there, you know, the administration up there to keep track of his ass. Anyway, that's the way it should be. Anyway, it's still Thursday. We'll still be live tonight. Y'all take care of yourself. Remember this shit, baby, when it comes voting day, when it comes time to guide this country. Put somebody in charge that's interested in fixing the problems. Not somebody who just wants to sit over there and whine about it and keep it just the same so they can continue to whine. Anyway, we'll see y'all later. Bye.